from two to five million gallons. And to put that into perspective, it's about, but I get this, I mean, it's about what the average golf course uses in about five days. However, I do know that most of that goes back down and can be reused. So I'm, I'm just still trying to put the, the water. It is a one-time use. If you compare it to any other industry that is using water every single day, we do not use much water in our industry. But you destroy all of it, correct? All of it. Where? Can you, can you tell me where here in Ohio we've done that? No, but when you will, when you do, because we are... And, and, and how? We've been doing this for over 60 years. Can you tell me one example? So you're kind of being um, disrespectful. By I'm not being disrespectful. Can you wait for the question? You talked earlier about injection wells yeah. and how many there are. Yeah. And that fluid is coming not from wells in Ohio, obviously. Okay, it's that's a good question. In West Virginia and okay, Texas. that's, a, that's a good that question. Done. And that done. But that, that is being injected in right. deep injection, high pressure wells that have in fact caused earthquakes in Youngstown because it, it, it is not potable, it cannot be purified, it cannot be reused for any living Is there a question coming? So, what I'm telling you is, so you're saying that this millions of gallons of water per well is being destroyed forever. Correct? The injection well, um, I would never... Yes or no? It's a yes or no question. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. And I won't provide you with that sound bite because it is not yes or no. No, it isn't. I would never go back to saying that we should discharge into lakes or streams. Are we there yet with the technology to be able to take salt water, brine water? Are we able to, are we there? There's two companies in Ohio that have applied for permits. I think we will, within the next five to ten years, be able to take the produce from uh, water and be able to do that instead of putting it into a class two injection well. I do think we will. I think we should do that. Are we there yet? No. Well, would I rather put it into an injection well rather than put it into lakes or streams? Absolutely. Any day. Now, why are we taking water from other states? Okay. Because their geology doesn't, they can't. Uh, well, it, it's actually more than that. It's partial. You know, and again, this is, you know, when I keep saying, you know, where Ohio has been different. You know, the uh, Groundwater Protection Council, there was a stronger group. Uh, it was made up of environmentals. It was made up of regulatory outside of Ohio. They actually said that Ohio should be used as a model for other oil and gas producing states. So going back to that, more than a quarter of a century ago, we said you shouldn't be discharging into lakes and streams. Some of the other state regulations are just now coming into compliance. And at this point, you cannot refuse to take that produced water. Their infrastructure is being built up, okay? Wait a second, hang on, please. Let me finish now. Okay, let me finish now. But if, here we go. Let me finish now. If you did not accept that water, you would be violating every interstate commerce laws in the country. Is that what New Jersey is doing by, by refusing to take it? They're, they're well, New Jersey and Vermont, they're a ban. No, I New mean, Jersey just is not accepting any in, uh, fluid for injury. None. But and see, the thing about it is you want to take it that far. So you have to have your injection wells close to your oil and gas well locations. No, you just said that if we didn't do that, we would be violating every law. And so you're saying New Jersey is violating those laws? What I'm saying is New Jersey doesn't have any oil and gas wells. So therefore, they would not have any disposal wells for oil and gas production. Vermont, you know, when they put the ban on it in Vermont, I mean, putting a ban on it is like banning orange groves in Alaska and, and, and surfing in Iowa. Because what you're talking about is states that have no oil and gas production, therefore they would have no business having 
have an oil and gas injection well. You just don't want to learn. <laughs> Turning Ohio into a dumping ground for this stuff. Okay, first of all, that's not in some of those chemicals. We'll take benzene, for example. 